Rossmore Pastries is going green, and so are you. <laughs> Toasters meet Charles Feeder, owner of Rossmore Pastries in Signal Hill. When Charlie thought about replacing his aging fleet of delivery trucks, he looked for an alternative to costly oil and gasoline. Charlie found natural gas vehicles and built his own CNG filling station at the bakery. Hey, Charles Feeder. Good, how are you? Great, nice to see you again. You too. Welcome to the bakery. Thank you. It smells like you got a lot of good stuff cooking in there. I hope so. Tell us about this natural gas vehicle you have here. Well, this is a Ford Crown Victoria and I got a really terrific deal, but it's equipped with natural gas. So I have eight natural gas vehicles all together. We have 200 years of natural fuel, natural gas under the earth that we're never gonna use. So how do you get gas into this vehicle? There's a gas main. The gas comes out of there and it goes into this machine, which is called a natural gas compressor. And then the, uh, the gas gets compressed and it goes out underneath the parking lot out here to these fill posts. This compressor makes the equivalent of seven gallons of gasoline an hour. So typically during the day I'll burn about 70 gallons, the equivalent of 70 gallons of gas. So it takes 10 hours to fill up the trucks. And the compressor works, you know, all day. And how much is it a gallon? The, it represents about a dollar a gallon, a little bit less. So I'm saving $1,000 a week. And look at what a wonderful thing natural gas does. It burns clean, we're not polluting, we're not contributing to this global warming, we're, we're surviving nicely with it, and I'm saving a ton of money. Why isn't everybody doing the same thing? The, the, the mere fact that I can go to bed at night saying, well, you know, I'm one of these guys that's not polluting. I have grandchildren. And what kind of a world are we gonna leave them? <laughs>